Hi, my name is Doug Mackey with Onyx Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how to easily add white ink to your images using Onyx Spot Layer Tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Before using a Spot Layer Tool, you'll need to install a printer with specialty inks. You also need to have a media profile that is configured to use these inks. And also note that the arrangement of ink layers being printed will be determined by your printer. So let's begin by opening a, a file into Job Editor. Once you have your file open, ensure that the appropriate media and print mode has been selected, and then click the Color Correction tab. From the Color Correction tab, click on the Tools button, select Spot Layer Tool, and click the checkbox to enable Spot Layer. Although Spot Layer Tool has several unique features, we're going to focus only on the basic controls. These are enabling spot layer generation, media color handling, spot channel, underlay fill, mask fill, and choke and spread. Using these settings, I'll describe three common, easy workflows. The first workflow that we're going to explore is flood filling our entire image frame with white ink or spot one. We're going to start by selecting our white. We want to make sure we're set to no knockout. And we're going to click the flood fill lock sliders. Notice the entire image frame is filled with green. That is the color I've configured to display my white ink. Don't worry if you see a different color. The color is only for display. By unlocking the controls, we can, we can change the amount of white ink applied to our pixel area. So you can see here that our pixel data is showing through. Or we can reduce the amount of white ink applied to our white space or non-pixel area. You'll see that that becomes a little less opaque. In our second workflow, we're going to only have the white ink applied to our pixel data. A good example of this would be uh, tinting your colors with white while leaving the background just paper. The third workflow would be filling the background while not adding our white ink to our pixels so they remain only printed with CMYK. This is good for a clear material where you want to set the background to white ink yet leave your colors unchanged. So just to review, the three workflows are to flood fill the entire image frame both pixel and paper white, to underfill only pixels by only using the underlay fill opacity control. And the third workflow is to fill only the paper background and you use the mask fill opacity. Finally, what I want to do is show you how to use all three of these for a single job that uses white, silver, and varnish. first thing I'm going to do is using my white ink, we're going to assume this is a clear material. I'm going to fill just the background. So I want to paint my clear material where there are not pixels. I want to paint that with white ink. Next, I'm going to choose my silver ink and I'm going to paint just under my pixels. So I'm going to create metallic colors using my silver ink. You'll see the silver is displayed as pink. Don't worry, again, if you're seeing a different color, that is just the display color. And finally, I'm going to fill the entire image frame with varnish. And I'm going to do that by hitting the flood fill lock sliders again. So there you have it. I've filled the background clear with white, 
I've underfilled my pixels with metallic silver to tint them as metallic colors, and I've covered the entire image frame with varnish. Um, again, you can change some of the levels. For example, right now my pixel area has CMYK, metallic silver, and varnish. If you run into overinking problems, you can turn down the varnish entirely. You can switch back to your silver and you can turn down the silver. And so you can control any over inking that happens. So again, let's go ahead and reset this and let's walk through this one more time. I'm going to select our white. We're going to fill only the background using the mask fill opacity control. We're going to select our silver. We're going to use the underlay fill opacity to tint our pixels metallic. And lastly, we're going to cover the entire image frame with a full coat of varnish. So there you have it. Those are the three workflows for using the spot layer tool. They're very easy. You can flood fill the entire image frame. You can flood fill your paper white or you can flood fill your pixel area or any combination. I'm going to reset this one more time and show you one other feature. If we are using our silver ink to underfill, we have a choke and spread control and what this will do, it will allow you to control the edge bleed of the silver ink or white ink or whichever one you selected. So for example, if I'm if the edges of my pixel date is bleeding, I can actually change the choke value. I'm going to set this to the extreme so you can see. You can see now that the perimeter of these circles doesn't have the pink color which indicates my metallic silver. Conversely, I can switch it to spread and I can actually bleed out a little bit beyond the pixel area. The preview is exaggerated. The markings on the control represent one pixel. So if I set the spread there, that's one pixel. If I set the choke there, that's one pixel. Set it to five, and you can see that start to show up in the preview. Again, the preview is exaggerated so that you know that it's working. That concludes the video on Onyx Spot Layer Tool. If you need additional information, go to onyxgfx.com.